This episode of Mobile Geeks is brought to you by Audible.com. Taiwan is an island roughly the size of California that can be found off the coast of China, north of the Philippines. It has a population of 23 million and is home to the headquarters of many of the world's top technology companies. Hi, I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, and today we're going to be taking a tour of one of Gigabyte's factories to see where their best-in-class motherboards are made. <laughs> The manufacturing process for most components starts with a naked PCB. Here, you can see it being checked, and here it is moving towards the soldering machine. The PCB is printed with a precise pattern, which is achieved through the use of a stencil. The stencil can be changed depending on which motherboard is being produced at any given time. From here, the motherboards are transferred to a component placement machine that quickly places all the tiny chips and components onto the board. These are the reels of the chips that feed them like a machine gun. These machines work extremely rapidly. They can place up to 52,000 components per hour. That's a rate of one component every 0.068 seconds. Some of the larger components, such as the processor sockets and chipsets, are also placed at this stage. People are used because they're more flexible and quicker since the machines take a lot longer to set up. The boards then carry on to the reflow oven. This melts the sticky solder paste into a firm, solid joint, permanently attaching the components to the board. Whether it's a motherboard or a VGA, after the oven, everything gets a visual and x-ray inspection to make sure that all the components have been placed and attached properly. From here, the motherboards and VGA cards move to the manual insertion floor lines, where droves of workers place most of the large components. Gigabyte is actually the only motherboard manufacturer that still makes its motherboards in Taiwan, and they have a high focus on the majority of their top-end boards at this factory. On average, 250,000 motherboards, 50,000 VGA cards, and 5,000 server boards are produced monthly at this factory alone. And, in addition to these components, the factory can also produce 10,000 smartphones and 10,000 notebooks or netbooks per month. Once the motherboards have all their components, the quality testing process begins. This starts with a simple visual inspection. From there, the board makes its way to a function test box, which basically builds a functioning PC in a matter of seconds. Before we get into the boxing and quality testing, why don't we stop for a word from our sponsor. This episode of Mobile Geeks is brought to you by Audible.com. Taiwan has a ton of tech to offer, but did you know that Life of Pi was also filmed here? If you're after a copy, Audible.com has 100,000 titles and bestsellers of every genre, including this one. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash mobilegeeks to get a free audiobook download when you sign up today. Again, Go to audiblepodcast.com slash mobile geeks for your free audio book. Taiwan has a lot to offer with its rich manufacturing experience and reliable manpower. For example, 72% of the staff at Gigabyte's Nanping factory have five years or more of experience at this factory. So the facility has a very low staff turnover compared to those facilities outside of Taiwan. After the certification, the boards head to be boxed on a separate floor. As the cost of manufacturing in China increases and the desktop PC market trends towards the high end, it continues to make sense for Gigabyte to maintain its factories in Taiwan and help maintain its time to market and quality leadership over competing brands. It really does help with the quality of the product that Gigabyte's head office and R&D labs are just a 45-minute car ride away, so samples can be ferried between the facility and the engineers to ensure a short turnaround time to speed up problem solving. So here we have the final product. It's getting ready to be put into the boxes and shipped out to you. So that was just a little behind the scenes on how Gigabyte makes its best in class products. If you liked it, please let us know in the comments and give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.